All right, so here we go again. We're doing this, I think, for the third week. We're uh, delivering pizzas to the uh, to the soldiers. But I have to admit something. I'm getting old, right? What does that mean? That means that I called up the, the soldiers, and they weren't they weren't here. Uh, they're not here until 10 o'clock at night. And then I found out that not only they're not going to be there at 10, they're only getting picked up at 10, and they're being driven to where they're stationed in this town of Ailey. Um, only about 10.30, 10.15, and I am exhausted. I was up till five, from 5.30 in the morning. Anyway, so here's the deal. Um, I spoke to uh, Doron, he's, he's the soldier, and he is so happy uh, that we're thinking about him, and that everybody's thinking about him, and that we care about him, and we care about the soldiers that are there. And so um, he agreed that we were gonna order the pizza and he was gonna pick it up. And after he picks up, and they're all gonna go and, and eat, and they're gonna send a video and say thank you. So uh, this video is gonna be kind of strange because I'm not gonna be able to interact with the soldiers, they have some questions, but hopefully they'll be able to uh, they'll be able to show their appreciation. Anyway, so we're gonna go right in here and go get the pizza and uh, just just pay for it and leave. All right, so let's go. Okay. Uh, it's fun to us to send the pizza for the uh, soldiers. Thank you very much for ordering for us. Okay, so we just ordered the pizza and now we're going, but I wanted to make a point that I think overall in the last uh, few years um, I've delivered probably about 3,000, 4,000 pizzas. I don't even know. We did most of it during the, the last Gaza War. But I'll tell you what, we're only delivering two pizzas to four soldiers tonight, which doesn't seem like a lot. We want to do more than that. But you have to understand, when there's only four soldiers somewhere, they're usually in this remote area where nobody cares about them and they're actually only arriving at 10.30 at night. So when I told them that we wanted to deliver them pizza, again, it's just like, it just warms their heart um, so much. And they're doing a job that is somewhat thankless. Yes, they could sit and they could think about how important it is and da 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 But overall, I mean, if they're guarding the people who appreciate them, whether it's even people from here or people from, from across the, you know, across the, uh, the ocean, um, it it increases their desire to be successful, their desire to do, to do their job. And desire, it doesn't matter what you do in this world, if you don't have desire, you're not gonna be successful. So if we want our soldiers to be successful, if we want Israel to be safe, the Jewish people to be safe, then we need to make sure that our soldiers understand that we appreciate them. And so um, I'm assuming that this next clip for the video is gonna cut over to the soldiers uh, talking about how much they appreciate it. So let's go to these soldiers. Scott and everyone, thank you. Merci beaucoup pour, uh, pour la pizza. <laughs> we are very, very appreciate that. Thank, thank you. Everyone.